Brussels sprouts are actually a type of cabbage and they do look like tiny miniature cabbages. There are over a hundred different varieties cultivated worldwide and originally they were grown in, can you guess? Yes, Brussels in Belgium. The name is a bit of a giveaway. They're slow to grow but are a hardy little vegetable and like the soil well drained. They don't mind the sunshine at all but the stalks can become quite tall so they might need the help of a stick to support them in the wind. Speaking of wind, they're famous for forming a bit of flatulence, but don't be put off by that as they are full of goodness. Traditionally, here in the UK, they're eaten during the winter time, and although they can give a few harvests throughout the year, they like to take a break from the end of April to the beginning of August, when they start growing again. They can be eaten raw, but the taste is a little bitter, so cooking them is the traditional and best method. They can be fried, steamed, boiled, stir-fried or roasted and are a great companion to casseroles, stews and even salads as well as roasts. They're not only a healthy choice for us humans but also for dogs who seem to love them and consider a freshly cooked sprout a great treat. They're full of antioxidants and vitamins such as vitamin C, vitamin E, a, K and B6, as well as folic acid, potassium and fibre, which helps with digestion and reducing the risk of digestive disorders. Brussels sprouts help our arteries and blood flow, help with tissue repair, assist to regulate our blood sugar levels, help battle inflammation and give our immune systems a boost. They help our hearts, our eyes, our bones and our lungs and are a good choice when we're trying to lose weight. When preparing sprouts for cooking, it's usual to remove a few of the outer leaves and score a cross in the base. Some advise not to do this if boiling them as they can turn mushy, but it's a good idea if you're going to roast them as it helps them to cook evenly. In folklore, making the sign of the cross on their core is said to keep unwanted devils out, but since they are traditional at Christmas, perhaps this is simply another way to honour and celebrate the birth of the Lord Jesus. Sprouts arrived in Britain at the end of the 18th century and the Brits now are topping the table as one of the world's biggest consumers, especially over the Christmas period when 25% of the annual turnover is sold in just two weeks. Yes, sprouts may be a tiny cabbage, but they've certainly earned their place as healthy in the vegetable kingdom, proving that good things do come in small packages.